Welcome to another question in our GSAT examination question series and well question and answers. Now here we're asked which shows the value of the 9 and let me just quickly underline that digit and I'm speaking about oops sorry about that I'm speaking about the digit 9 in 293.6 okay here we have some options 9 times 1 9 times 10 C we have 9 times 100 in D we have 9 times a thousand okay so um, a quick way of getting this um, it's just to have a picture of the place value chart which I'm gonna pull up in just a few okay so here is my place value chart now this is the number that we have here I'm just going to put it in a square box oops sorry about that just let me just this number here 200 and 93.6 okay so let's just let's just quickly write that in our place value chart it's 200 so the 2 will go in my hundreds column so I'll place the 2 there 9 t 3 goes in my units or my ones point remember the vertical line represents my point so my 6 will go in my tenths column all right now if you if you if you remember or if you had completed the lesson on the values in our place in our base 10 system of numeration all right you and the different values that a number carries okay you would know that if we should take the face value of the digit in the tens column which is the nine so let's take the face value of the nine so if i take the face value of the nine there that's the nine in the tens column and i'm going to multiply it by the place value and since it's in the tens column, I must multiply it by 10. Well, obviously, quite evident, you'll see we have our answer, which is part B here, okay? Because the 9 is the same as 9 times 10, because it is placed in the tens column, all right? And that's it. Bye-bye.